I adore when women tell me I am too picky. And they go, that's why I can't get a partner. I go, nope, no, it's not. They're like, what? I should, should, I, should I be picky? Should I be picky? Yes. You should be really freaking picky. You should be unbelievably picky. And that is not why you're single. Being picky is amazing. You get one person, it should feel great, that person. And once you get down the road, you know, six months in plus, yeah, you're going to have fights, you're going to have arguments, things are going to go great, bad, middle. But this person should be an amazing, amazing, amazing person and great fit for you. And I want to give you reassurance. You should be wildly picky. And when you hire a coach like me or whoever you hire, we are not in the business of finding mediocre. Or at least, excuse me, let me speak for myself. I don't know what other people are doing. I am not in the mediocrity business. You could find mediocre by yourself. I'm in finding the best for you. The one that can sustain, the one that can last forever. Why would I have a business of mediocrity. I would never exist. I would never have been able to do this for a decade. I exist because we can be so freaking picky and we can find amazing. And keep being picky. Don't second guess yourself. Yeah, there may be some strategies to fine tune and some things to think about, but ultimately the idea of pickiness we should be so freaking picky and also understand that if we go on 50 dates, there's a decent chance. 50 dates without a strategy, just, hey, here's 50 dates. Most likely, th that's not your guy. Because it's hard to find your guy. You have to understand that. Until we're ready, until we've got a strategy, until we know how to zinc in on what we want, we can't optimize that process so well. All right, be picky and don't second guess yourself. Just do it. Keep being picky and get something amazing. No divorces, no breakups. We don't want that.